You guys, hello, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Sean's first time eating. Now today, two separate things that I've never eaten, but one that I've seen at H Mart, one that I've seen all over the place that I've always wondered, what is that? And now I've put two and two together and I now know what it is based on the donation today. Spam is an easy way to not make the same old thing. Let's roll the red carpet. Let's give it up for Danny Wayne. <laughs> My two ultimate comfort foods, tuna mayo onigiri and spam musubi. Danny wanted me to eat them on a day when the weather is gross and you just don't want to go anywhere. Today's high, 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we have some cold weather to take. Yeah, about. lots of them. So tomorrow we're stuck in the 20s all day. So I'm not putting in effort today. I'm not trying to do anything. But for the first time, finally trying both of these things. According to the internet, Spam Musubi is a snack and lunch food composed of a slice of grilled Spam, sandwiched either between or on top of a block of rice, wrapped together with nori in the tradition of Japanese onigiri. Origin. Hawaii. Well, you know, in Hawaii, we have a name for people like you. Garbage. So I got two different ones here today. This one is, like like it said, Spam and rice, and then wrapped. Seaweed paper, is that what that is? But this one also has egg and cheese in between it. So, kind of a wild kickoff into this world. And this thing is a block. It is heavy. And then this one, no egg and cheese, but it looks like, is that crab on top there? Looking kind of crabby. I'm gonna start with the breakfast one. <laughs> so my first time ever doing Spam Musubi. Am I saying that right? How do you pronounce Spam M-U-S-U-B-I? I'll give you a moment to say it. Did you end up saying Spam Musubi or Spam Musubi? Or did you say something completely different? But those two are the ones I typically hear the most. Okay. This is, that's what I typically hear. Cool. I think I'm kind of right. I've told you guys in past vlogs how much I love food like this. I just don't have a ton of knowledge in it. So this is great. I also have some Jesse Moss soy sauce that she gave me. Danny, thank you for the donation. I'm going to try it first without anything on it. Take a hand roll, and then we'll get into some soy sauce. Hmm. It's so satisfying. I love food like this. Feels like a guilt-free lunch just because it's fresh tasting, not heavy and greasy and fried. That is so good. Before I get into the crab one, I'm gonna do the tuna mayo onigiri. Something really small, and I noticed that onigiri there, so I was like, onigiri. Oh, I can get an oni onigiri. You gotta say it like fast. Not wrapped the best on this one, but the components are there. Inside the tuna mayo, inside the rice triangle, some paper. Cheers. Mmm, a filling in there. Nice and creamy and salty. Good texture. You heard the crunch? I'm gonna go in the soy sauce. Mmm. Yeah. Damn. The soy sauce really enhances this one. Do you guys ever make or eat stuff like this? I like the hand rolls too. I'm not great with chopsticks. We've all seen that. Wow. My homie Chef Iron Mike made a Asian sensation hot sauce that's just been incredible with, I mean, pretty much all food. I kinda wanna try a little bit on this Spam Musubi. Oh yeah, that just works. Mm. So to the studio today, Probably the thinnest package. <laughs> An envelope, more or less. Watch where you're going, needle dick. Sent to me. I have no idea what this is. You can see the address below if you want to send anything. I thought it was maybe one of those old AOL, like 500 free hours. Welcome. You've got mail. <laughs> CD ROMs. Oh my god. <laughs> this is better than money. 
$25 Taco Bell gift card. Files done. Epic. Hey Sean, challenge. My fave was always the Chilito slash chili cheese burrito. I can't get them in local anymore. Can you find a place to get a real one and then compare your best hacks from the menu? Tom, no last name, but Tom, thank you so much for sending this gift card. Uh, I'm happy to get a chili cheese burrito and then show a menu hack or two from my Taco Bell order, so yeah. Absolutely. Taco Bell, the most hackable menu. All right, now on to the final thing here. The Spam Musubi with crab. It's gotta be, right? Or is that lobster? No, it's crab leg, right? It's like crab. <laughs> Going in before we wet it. Hmm. Yeah. That's so nice. What's your guys' comfort zone in this world? How much of this? I know some of you are gonna be like, Sean, that's too much soy sauce. Dude, it enhances it for me. Soy sauce, to me, probably one of my top 10 favorite things on this world. On it or in it. Damn. Danny, you're right. I just feel better. I feel comforted. If you guys have an H Mart in your town, even just really an Asian grocery store, the like kind of grab and go, like refrigerator, will have a lot of this stuff. That's where I've like diversified a lot of my palate. It's like picked some stuff up from there and just tried it. It's always so good, so well made. But a simple, easy, comforting one here today. I feel a zen. I will see you guys again very soon. Friggin' delicious, dude. Friggin'? Why can't I say fork? If you're trying to curse, you can't hear. That's bullshit. Danny, thank you for paying for this one. Tom, thanks for the Taco Bell gift card. We'll have some Chilitos in a future episode. Be good to each other. I'll just say, spam Masubi up, spam Masubi down. Let's go. We still got the rhythm, put the cash inside the bag. Gotta learn to beat the system, gotta turn the tide around. And everybody's searching for a nice piece of that pie. To the billionaires and the trillionaires, I'm gonna take what's mine. Overcome by something, no so day. Dress it up and take it on the town. Spam.